Hey everybody, what's up? Mr. Dissonance here with this short free video for headsupsitandgo.com and very happy to be making it for you. We're playing some low limit hypers or micro hypers on full tilt, not because it's 2009, this is after they've restarted. And I'll just talk you through maybe two or three matches, we'll do like a, a 10 or 15 minute video. All right, so this is an interesting spot. My call of queen eight, pretty standard. You need to defend quite wide, and this is uh, a decent hand. The problem is that the ace on this ace queen nine board will often be in the raiser's hand and very infrequently in the caller's hand. So it's a question of range, and this is more in her range than my range. So this puts me in a very difficult, or his range and my range, puts me in a very difficult spot where he can two or three barrel me and therefore I'm going to give up my middle pair on the turn. But I couldn't give it up on the on the flop. There's no guarantee that he could uh, that he was going to two barrel me. All right, raising most of my hands from the button, which is pretty standard. And as I said before, defending quite wide, I'd, I'd call most of my suited queens and then give up if my opponent see bets on this flop because I don't hit it. Um, this is an interesting turn. It puts out draw, so I think I can bet as a semi-bluff, and if I get cold, barrel the river. Nice. As long as he doesn't have jack x, I should be okay here. All right, so out of position, you need to be quite aggressive in those spots when your opponent doesn't see bet. I do feel he should have simply see bet the, uh, the flop, though and made me fold my queen x right there and then. All right, ace eight, and we're at about uh, f nearly 15 big blinds, so I would min raise this. And if my opponent uh, three bets me, I get it in. I am worried by the small size of his three bet to 120 chips. That will often be a really, really strong hand. But at this depth, ace-8 suited, I just think I have to get it in. If he turns up with jacks, it's bad luck for me. Alright, pocket eight's not a great spot for me. Um, and I hit my three outer, which is very fortunate. Uh, it's an interesting spot there. If I knew him better, I might well not uh, get it all in there. Alright, so that's the first match. Let's go and find someone in the lobby and see if we can find a second opponent. Alright. We've got a new opponent, and uh, oh no, I've got a uh, someone I used to battle a, at the uh, 200s, which is hilarious. And um, he's wondering what I'm doing at the two dollar level. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, right, this will be fun. So I actually know quite a lot about his game, and. Uh, all right, so on this flop, I can't do much out of position with my ace -X. I should, in fact, have three bet jammed um, my hand pre-flop against someone who's raising a very high percentage. All right. There we go. So we've got two, like, $200 regs playing at the $2 level. And him, probably because he's trying to set up his HUD on full tilt, and me trying to make a video. This is cool. All right, gonna open pretty wide against him. He's a very good player, he has a, a great ROI, and makes a lot of money, and I have a lot of respect for his game. Uh, on this flop, I'm gonna see bet, and I expect him to float me quite a lot, so I'm gonna double barrel it as well, a lot of the time. He won't hit this so frequently. Him open jamming is likely to be a low pocket pair. If my king six was suited, I would probably call this and not be in bad shape against two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Although I would be much happier calling seven, six suited, for example. And he's three bet jamming me, which he will do quite aggressively because he knows I open a very wide range. I wonder if he's playing differently because he knows I'm making a vid and uh, 
doesn't want to be in it. Well, he could always tell me and I wouldn't put him in it. All right, this is a pretty three, easy three-bet jam, which I'd make at any level. And standard for him to call because he knows that my three-bet range will have a lot of worse hands than ace-eight. I would be three-bet jamming stuff like um, even as good as like king six suited against someone who opens as widely as he does. All right, try and uh, finish him off. Oh, he's flopped Jin, that's nice. And here we are at six big blinds, and I would be jamming the Nash table at this depth, and 3-6 is not a jam, according to Nash. And I would be calling King-10 right up to about 12 big blinds against someone who's opening. And this is also a very, very easy jam. Uh, no point min raising, it looks too strong, and he won't he won't three bit jam a worse hand because he knows when I'm shallow I would never um, I would never three bit jam I would never raise a worse hand and here I think I get it in good against the majority of his range but he's going to uh, catch two nut straights in a row easy game hehehe <laughs> And uh, Gorsev is normally incredibly polite. It's just having fun at the $2 level. This I can open jam or I can min raise and oh, I'm gonna just jam into his ace king, easy. And he'll flop the ace leaving me no outs almost. He's gonna come back and crush me at the $2 level, no. <laughs> All right, finally we've got a good hand here. Come on, bring it on. And he refuses. So 7-2, the hammer, not going to go far with that, had to give it up. And my range here at 10 big blinds needs to be dependent on his range, what's he shoving on. And if I think that he's shoving aggressively, I need to call wider. If I think he shoves, if he shoves tight, I need to call tighter. And the same thing about his min-raising range, if he's, um, I'll jam this, if he's uh, min-raising wide, then I need to 3-bet jam aggressively. If he's min-raising tight, then I need to 3-bet jam uh, very tight. Now, ace-jack is always going to be a 3-bet jam, but I think he's min-raising wide enough that I could profitably 3-bet jam like most of my king X hands, for example. And here I'll min-raise hoping that he will 3-bet jam me because my hand um, is quite strong, stronger than his overall 3-bet jamming range which should have a lot of worse kings in it. And as it turns out, worse jacks. So that's a better min raise and call than just open jamming because I don't really want him to uh, fold worse hands that would have three bet jams me. For example, king four. And now I'm gonna, um, when I suck out here, <laughs> joke with him in chat and let's see if he wants to play one more for the video ah uh, don't all right then well i hope you've enjoyed this short and free video from husng.com i'm cog dissonance until the next time run good